Hello and welcome to rounds five and six of the BUKC. This week we've come to Buckmore Park in Kent. Round five in the morning started off slowly as the track at Buckmore Park had been covered in snow just 12 hours earlier. The drying conditions and the constant threat of more snow made for some tricky situations for the drivers to deal with. Let's see how the teams got on. Championship contenders Southampton Abe made the most of the slippery conditions to take the first win of the day but only just less than a second ahead of Warwick A. Brighton A had their best result in the BUKC this year with a strong finish in third. Despite starting on pole, Huddersfield A, who looked so strong at the previous event, finished in fourth ahead of Oxford Brooks A in fifth. With a drying track in race two, it was Plymouth B, not Plymouth A, who took the win. Have Plymouth got their teams mixed up? An amazing drive just 0.3 seconds ahead of one of the best teams in the championship, Coventry A. A couple of seconds down the road came Birmingham B from 31st on the grid. What a brilliant drive. With the lap times tumbling as the track dried out, it was championship contenders Hartford Year A who, starting from 27th on the grid, battled their way through the pack to finish in first place. Another great drive from the Hearts team. Southampton clearly have a strong team throughout as their B team finished in second place just ahead of Hartford Year C in third. Do Hearts have the highest number of quick drivers in the championship? By race four, the track had fully dried out and it was Imperial A who took the win from seventh on the grid, four and a half seconds ahead of another strong drive from Coventry A. Hertfordshire B beat their A team again by finishing in third just ahead of the Hertfordshire A team whilst Durham A rounded off the top five. Swansea A started in third in race five and had a bit of a battle in their hands to take the win until Medway A spun off, handing the lead to the Welsh team on lap 9, which was never relinquished. Another strong drive for Huddersfield saw them finish in second, a couple of seconds ahead of Southampton A in third, and Oxford Brooks A in fourth. A snow shower in the final race of round 5 saw a hike in lap times of 20 seconds, but it wasn't long until the track dried out again and lap times got back to normal. Swansea Metropolitan reeled in Hertfordshire A to claim the victory with just a few laps to go, or Southampton A finished in third. After the end of round five, Hertfordshire A and Southampton A were tied on points and despite having a win each, the tie was decided by Hertfordshire's second best result being second place, so Hertfordshire took the overall win for round five and Southampton finished in second. Swansea Metropolitan had their best result of the championship by finishing third. Championship contenders Oxford Brooks were just outside the top three, finishing in fourth overall, whilst Imperial A had their best ever round result since 2006 by finishing in fifth. As usual, the afternoon racing saw teams take part in three one-hour endurance races where pit stops, driver changes and strategy all have an important part to play. Durham A took the win in the eventful first race of the endurance races in which the red flag had to be deployed because of an injured driver which resulted in the pack bunching up again with a third of the race left to run. Medway A eventually finished in second place, four seconds behind Durham, whilst three Welsh teams, Swansea A, Swansea Metropolitan and Cardiff A took third, fourth and fifth. Plymouth A finally received the win which they've been promising all day as they took the victory in race two, whopping 24 seconds ahead of Imperial A in second, another great result for Imperial. Coventry A rounded off the top three with Durham A in fourth and with Oxford Brooks A and lap down in fifth. Oxford Brooks A finally got their act together to take the win in the final race of the day. Even though they started second on the grid, they won by over 24 seconds ahead of Hertfordshire B and Southampton A in third. It was Durham A's strong first and fourth place results which gave them the win at the end of round six. As one of the most promising teams in the BUKC, it's great to see them finally deliver a deserving result. Oxford Brooks A's strong result got them up to second place ahead of Plymouth A in third. Southampton A regained top spot in the championship standings after round six with Hertfordshire B in second and Durham A in third. Round five winners Hertfordshire A are ten points back in fourth, but Oxford Brooks's A team seem to have got their act together and are working their way back inside the top ten, sitting in sixth. It was quite tricky, I must admit. There was quite a bit of snow on the track, so a few hairy moments. Yeah, and you got two medals today, you're going to go for a third? 
I think so, yeah. It's just getting greedy now. Yeah, I, I want a few more. Well, what a fantastic day it's been here at Buckmore Park in Kent. Despite some snow flurries, we've seen some fantastic action. Join us again for round seven and eight of the BUKC at Clay Pigeon in Dorset.